ladies and gentlemen, it says right here, Erdogan, Erdogan uh, urges Turks and Iranians to donate to Ilhan Omar's campaign as Iranian media says Omar met with Rouhani. And this is the picture here. Very, very, very uh, powerful picture here. What do you think about this here, sir? Uh, Erdogan is the is the president of Turkey, and Rouhani is the president of Iran. Both of these countries hate, hate, hate America because it's not Islamic. Both of these leaders want a caliphate, not just in their country, worldwide. They want Muslim law, which is Sharia, to rule the world. Now, when a man like Erdogan, who slaughters thousands of his own people, Rouhani the same thing, Rouhani wants to destroy America, makes no secret about it, brags every day how they're going to destroy America, they're going to destroy Israel, they're seizing ships in the Persian Gulf, uh, they're blowing up tankers, they're blowing up pipelines, they're going to do whatever they can to do destroy the Western economies because we, under President Trump, thank goodness, have instituted sanctions to get them to rein in their nuclear power program so God forbid they don't get the bomb. When a guy like that says he liked Omar and he wants to raise money for her and is encouraging people to donate, and when Erdogan in Turkey says the same thing and are photographed with her, oh my gosh, when you look at a person who has friends like that, friends who want to destroy our country and everything it stands for, Jermaine, be worried. Be very worried. Every American who loves this country should be terrified that a person like this is being supported financially by the enemies of this country who want this country destroyed. You're chosen by the friends you keep mm -hmm. and you're judged by the friends you keep and quite frankly her friends suck and you can quote me on that when they're the leaders of countries that want to destroy our country Jermaine. That's a great article I'm really glad you brought it up and I hope it really rattles your viewers to get involved to make sure that we get anybody to replace her from your district in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> Ilhan Omar is openly meeting with leaders who have, an, you know, another big, very disdain for our country, ladies and gentlemen. You see her rhetoric, okay? It's not as if she's hiding it anymore, Barry. I mean, you, you almost got to be uh, confused or you don't care to not notice what she's doing. Well, I'll tell you what. Here's an interesting concept that we should talk about because we don't know what's going to happen to me. Um, Ilhan Omar has announced that she wants to visit Israel and she wants to meet with Palestinians when they're there to see how horrible their lives are. Here's an interesting concept. And I don't know the answer, but I'm going to pose the question. Israeli law allows for immigration authorities in Israel to ban entry for people who openly advocate for BDS. Why? Because BDS, the purpose of BDS, if you read uh, the statements by its founder, Omar Bagudi, is to destroy the state of Israel. Yes, you heard what I said. His goal is to destroy the state of Israel by economic strang strangulation. You boycott the country. You divest from uh, investment in the country. And you have sanctions against the country, hence the word BDS. And you eventually destroy the country. That's their goal. Elhan Omar just introduced legislation, we talked about it a minute ago, to encourage BDS against Israel. Now... She, she announces she wants to go to Israel. Guess what? The Prime Minister, Bibi Netanyahu, has the power under Israeli law to ban her from entering the country. In American history, in American history, there's never been an American government official precluded from entering the state of Israel. I hope, I really mean this, that Prime Minister Netanyahu has the chutzpah to ban her 
and not let her off the plane if she flies into Israel and preclude her from entering the country and turn her right around, like they do for other anti-Semitic, anti-Israel activists when they land. They hold them in a holding spot at the airport, they book them on the next flight back to where they came from, and they're never allowed to leave the airport. I would love Israel to do that. And you know what? The progressives are probably screaming oh, that yeah. oh, or Johan <laughs> Omar couldn't go to Israel for her. But the reality is, Jermaine, if she cared about people dying, mm -hmm. she'd be in Syria or Libya or Oman or Somalia, where she comes from, which is a horrible, despicable it's terrible. Place. You know, when, when, you know, the story of Black Hawk Down, you know, mm -hmm. the American forces were in. Uh, Mogadishu, Somalia, they were shot down. Um, many of them uh, were killed. Their bodies were dismembered. They were dragged through the streets and treated worse than dead animals. Um, she's made comments that what happened there was because of American foreign policy and America trying to conquer Somalia. The truth is America was there to try and save people who wanted to be free. We didn't want to run the country. We didn't want any minerals or trade with them. Mm -hmm. We were just there to help people live. And what happened? Our soldiers were brutally killed. Some were tortured. Uh, their bodies were mutilated. And people like Omar escaped from that and came to America and blamed America for Somalia's problems. And if you go there now and look at the place, oh my God. God, there's no place less civilized on planet Earth. She came from a crazy place to a sane place, and she wants to turn this sane place into a crazy place. Yep. Crazy. And she, wants to, <laughs> she wants to spread her uh, vision of the world into places like Israel. So like I said, I really hope they keep her out. And to me, that would be terrific. And, you know, one more thing. We, we, mm -hmm. we talked about this uh, months ago. Um, Omar represents uh, the Minnesota district that was formerly uh, occupied by the biggest hater of Israel in the American Congress, Keith Ellison, uh, also Muslim, who um, wrote for and supported and still does to this day apparently the biggest anti-Semite in America, uh, the biggest anti-American preacher, um, Louis Farrakhan, and Omar has taken his place as the biggest hater of Israel and Jews in the American Congress and considers Farrakhan a good leader and won't disavow him. So every chance she gets, it's really sad to disavow terror, she doesn't, disavow Al-Qaeda, she doesn't, um, to speak out against Antifa, she doesn't, and what she does do is speak for the crazy ideas that she has, and for some reason, which I don't totally understand, the liberal press just loves her. Mm -hmm. She gets a microphone, and the same hardworking people in Congress seem to get ignored for the most part. She is a darling of the left. No matter how crazy she gets, they still love her.